Hi children, Edward Tyndall here and I'm Sarah Tyndall from Edward and Sarah the Reptiles and Edward Tyndall YouTube. Today, upon special request, we are bringing a presentation to you guys on the differences between frogs and toads. So y'all just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Now, a frog or a toad? Which of these would you call a frog or a toad to start with? Unfortunately, I do not have a American frog. Well, I do, but it's a special frog. So we're going to start out with the pixie frog. The African giant pixie frog. Can you kids tell differences between African pixie frog and American toad? Well, there is slight differences. Let's see. All toads are frogs. True toads, like this, have squat bodies, rough warty skin, short hind legs, and bulging poison glands on either side of their head, as you can see. But the word toad is often used for other frogs, such as pixie frogs and other frogs, and the names can be misleading. The important thing to remember is that all of them, even true toads, are frogs. Let's see if I can zoom in and get, yep, there's the poisonous glands there. So if they're not really harmful to humans unless we were to eat them, and uh, he's not secreting anything, but they, they will secrete a milky white substance that if dogs or cats or other animals was to attack them, they would, uh, they would uh, gum up their mouth. So that is a toad. Absolutely awesome, amazing creature. And then going on to the African pixie frog. This is a type of bullfrog that lives in Africa. And they are absolutely awesome survivors of all kinds of conditions. They can live up to a year without food or water in the desert because they can secrete uh, slimy film around their body and live off of the water that they drink and then they don't have very much um, ammonia in their urine when they pee so not to be rude or crude or anything but they can actually pee and drink their pee and survive for a year which is an awesome amazing fact and this guy's about five and a half pounds his name is Jabba the Hutt better view for you guys Jabba the Hutt he is a male bullfrog a male pixie you can tell by the orange the orange I'm having trouble holding the camera yeah there we go you can tell by the uh, orange armpits look at them big orange armpits that's how you can tell that he is a male. The females are much smaller. And this one in particular has a paradox spot right here on his back, which is of a different color. Absolutely amazing. Um, and throughout the years, everybody's loved frogs. They've come up with fake rubber frogs, glass frogs as uh, table weights and stuff but this is the real true deal people and then we have the American an American frog this is a unique specimen here that was born without an eyeball if you can see I will get a close up for you guys these things happen sometimes in the wild you can see there is a eyeball right there and then there is just bare skin there this is an extremely rare occurring thing and most of the time in the wild they will not survive this was a wild caught specimen as you can see he's very tiny 
an eye eyeballless <laughs> one eye it has one eye and it does not have the other eye so that is that but there's all types of frogs in this world and this video is to educate you guys of the differences between frogs and toads most frogs are aquatic or semi-aquatic most toads are not although they all have tadpoles in water for the most part as far as we know the biggest main difference would have to be the poison glands on either side of the toad now I'm going to show you guys some absolutely breathtaking stunning frogs and the different colors that you can have through breeding them in captivity and releasing recessed genes what is recessed genes Edward a recessed gene is a gene that is in a f animal and if you breed that animal with another animal that also shares that recessed gene it will create whatever that morph is that is recessed so we will go on to that now you guys stay tuned okay children now we are moving on to one of my favorite species one of my many favorite species of frog the Pac-Man frog. This one here is a four spot patternless albino Pac-Man frog. Albino has red eyes and this is about this enclosure with eco earth substrate should last them their entire life. They're ambush predators. They'll lay underneath the ground waiting with just their nose and eyes out most of the time I've washed all the substrate off of them before filming this so you'll be able to see except one this is a four spot pattern that's normal what is an frog. ambush hunter? oh an ambush hunter is some something that hides and waits until something walks by and then they'll jump out and eat it as I will show you with this one here he is somewhat covered up And today, we are feeding, going to feed him a live dubia roach. So he's laying in wait until something comes around. Zoom in a little bit. Until something comes around. And he gets it. There you go. That's what an ambush hunter does. And they'll just sit there and till they uh, get their fill and they're very patient they might go long periods of time without food but again this is one of my favorite uh, species of frogs and there is a few others I will show you before we end this presentation stay tuned okay here is one of the world's most famous Pac-Man frogs Butterball I will spray him off for you guys on here with my trusty sprayer so y'all can see how he acts when he's in ambush. He's t attacking the water, trying to get the water. Everybody loves Butterball. They called these a Pac-Man frog after the famous video game, Pac-Man. And he is an ornate Pac-Man frog. His name is Butterball, but he's an ornate. That's a scientific name. And all the other Pac-Man frogs I've showed in this video, including this one, Sunburst Pac-Man frog, is a Cranwilly. They have absolutely beautiful colors. And then we have the one they all started from, the green Pac-Man frog. All the Cranwilly strains started out as normal green or brown. And then through breeding them in captivity, we were able to come up with all these other wonderful morphs. But uh, that's pretty much the differences between frogs and toads. I'm sorry that I don't have more examples to share with you guys on that. But um, if you would like to see more on the subject, you can always check out Edward Tindall YouTube. And there you will find this Pac-Man frog on the world's most famous Pac-Man frog. What is morphs? 
morphs. Well, this is a normal green, and this is a sunburst morph. And then the albino I showed was another morph. You have different types of colors, colors or morphs. And this is a normal ornate Pac-Man frog. But they have high red Pac-Man frogs, high red ornate dragon wing, which means they got this black pattern will go connect. Um, there's thousands of types of frogs. Cotton candy. I love them all. Yes, cotton candy morph, which I don't have that, so I wasn't speaking of it. Blues. In here. But they have blue, Surinam blue. Uh, all kinds of awesomeness, people. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He is on how to cook a Pac-Man frog Tyndall style. Don't forget to check that out. And that's going to pretty much uh, conclude this presentation. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, and some words of advice from Edward Tyndall from Edward and Sarah's Reptiles is uh, be cool and stay in school. You guys are our future. The more you learn now, the more successful we will all become. So, uh, study in school, study science, learn your different morphs, your different types of animals. Yes, because animals are very important creatures. We need them. They're all in, important in our ecosystem. And uh, I was going to say something else. I can't remember what it was. Hope this helps you guys out. Oh, yeah, I hope this helps you guys out. And, uh, Hope your teachers and your classmates have enjoyed this. And uh, that's pretty much it. Remember, uh, oh yeah, the words of advice. Y'all try to uh, spread peace, love, and happiness everywhere you go. That's an important virtue in our world. And uh, try to study animals and understand them and how important they are to our ecosystem. Because we need them as much as they need us. And that is Edward and Sarah Tyndall. Out.